So yeah, that's just an introduction to five elements. And next week we are going to do some more detailed stuff about associations, the five elements. And point of the week, everyone. Dun, 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 dun. It's one of our favorites, kidney three. Okay. It's called Supreme Stream. That's a pretty big name to live up to, isn't it? It tonifies both the kidney yin and yang. So that's basically the cooling and the warming aspects of the body. Look at this, it benefits the lungs. And we're gonna find out more about the links between the water element and the breathing later on in the series. And it also strengthens the lumbar spine. And we'll work this into our series of exercises today. Okay, so remember last week, we did kidney one. I'll just take my sock off so you can see where it is. Let's just do a little routine for the foot. Okay, really important to um, stimulate the soles of the feet to keep us grounded, particularly those red zone people. Very important. Kidney one, if you're in the red zone, kidney one and kidney three, which we're going to do in a minute, are really important points. They connect you with the earth. They chill you out of your head. Keep your head from calm your head down just what you need superb points and remember last week how effective this was we really felt very different after we did some work on kidney one okay so we're just opening up kidney one now just stretching the foot and kidney three is right here on the ankle and what i'll do is i'll actually show you the picture here it is it's halfway between the medial malleolus, that's technical term for the ankle bone, and halfway between the ankle bone and the Achilles tendon, okay? And I can show you exactly where that is on my foot. It's halfway between here, that's the medial malleolus, if you're interested, the ankle bone, and this is the Achilles tendon. So you just literally draw a line, and that point is right there, okay? And I'll tell you a few stories about this point. I had a client once came to me, very, very severe, uh, fatigue and this whole area was actually black it looked black like it had been bruised but it was just the kidney channel was really really deficient and over a series of sessions that blackness just totally disappeared as her energy improved and so if you look around here and you see some gray or black it could be indicating that you've got deficiency of energy uh, in the kidney channel and it's a really good point for that now we can incorporate that into our routine by doing this kind of thing if you can reach kidney one and you can then press between kidney one and up into kidney three here, halfway between the ankle and the Achilles tendon. And if you'd like to feel a connection between two points, you can press into kidney one and press into kidney three at the same time. And if you just relax your arms, feel a nice even pressure on both those points, you may get a sensation up the inside of your legs and into the sort of lower burner area. If you can get that feeling, then you're feeling the actions of those points to tonify the kidney energy or the kidney yin and yang or the lower burner which, or the water element, whichever way you want to think of it. And that's a really lovely feeling, just holding those points. Okay, really nice point combination. And that incorporates in our point of the week, kidney three, which to remind you is called Supreme Stream. It tonifies the kidney yin and yang. So it's good for the blue and the red zone. Okay, it benefits the lungs, more about that in the next couple of weeks. And it strengthens the lumbar spine. And you may even, if you've got a little bit of lower back ache, you may even be able to feel a connection between these two points and the lower back, just getting a little bit stronger there. Okay, it's a very powerful point. It's one we use all the time when we do shiatsu. And in fact, if you come in for a session with me or with any of the others in the team and you feel us feeling around here at the beginning of the session when you're lying on your back, what we do, often do is we feel that point and see whether it feels weak or blocked because that can give us an indication of the energy of the whole body. So I just want a little tip what we do when we when you come in, if you're wondering what we're doing when we hold onto your ankles and we're feeling around there, that's what we're doing. We're finding, tuning into kidney three and finding out what kind of, um, uh, kind of kidney energy you've got, which is really important. We also use that point to strengthen the lower back and also just generally to tonify the whole, whole body. Okay, so let's get that kidney one activated first of all. I'm using all my fingers, I'm just pressing in there. Oh, that feels so good. 
and then we can work to connect up from kidney one up here and into kidney three halfway between the inside of the ankle bone and the Achilles tendon just right there so we can thumb our way up there using self acupressure connecting those two points and then holding kidney one and holding kidney three getting the pressure pretty even and feeling a connection between the two points and then tuning into the channel tuning into the leg and seeing if you can feel any connections with your knee maybe with your hip lower back or the lower burner in general and if you can feel a sensation what's happening there is you're sensing the facial pathways that create the channel all the way up into the main part of the body okay and that's just some self shots you can do if you need some help during the week those of you in the red zone i really recommend that you if you need to calm down work the soles of your feet work kidney one and work kidney three and if you're in the blue zone I would recommend doing the same and holding here until you feel some kind of activation in the lower burner because that's basically waking up your nervous system from that free state okay excellent well I think that's going to make a big difference but we can find out can't we let's have a, a stand up again and we'll find out and see what the effect of working those two kidney points has had. Let's pop the camera back down again. So. Okay, so let's stand again and see what difference that's made. Pretty good, isn't it? It's what an awesome couple of points they are. Can you feel how your ankles feel kind of more open? Your soles of your feet kind of sinking down into the earth. And not only that, you feel that like the inside of your leg here is starting to be activated all the way up. And that's the power of those two points in keeping us totally connected to the earth, keeping us chilled out from the red zone, but also kind of activating and making sure that we've got some yang energy if we start creeping into that blue zone. <laughs> 